When company's coming over and you've realized the roast is still frozen, an instant pot seems to be the answer. Why, I wonder, did no one ever tell me that you can cook a frozen roast in your oven? It's like the, we only thought the way was these new gadgets and no one could ever figure things out in the years past. Well, it just so happens that yes, you can cook a frozen roast in your oven and I've been fooled all these years. Have you been too? Well, then perhaps you'd like to come along with me today and you can see how easy it is. This evening, I am having family over for dinner and I am going to cook this completely frozen chuck roast. The first thing I do is to take off all the frozen bits um, and I wash this in cold water. This also helps when things get stuck inside of that frozen area. Then I pat it dry. Then it's time to put your dry rub, whatever spices you're using, all over your roast. I'm using a combination of salt and pepper, garlic, paprika, and coconut sugar. You can find this recipe on the blog, and you can also print out the recipe there. Look in the information box below for the link. I'm using a chuck roast for this recipe, but any roast will work. Once you've put on your dry rub, sit the roast in a baking dish that can be covered. I'm using a Dutch oven. This is one of my favorites to use. It's an all-purpose kitchen tool. That is, I use it almost all the time. <laughs> You can also use a roast pan or a baking dish and you can cover it with foil. I'm putting this in an oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. But as soon as I get it into the oven, the preheated 450 de degrees Fahrenheit, I will turn down to 375 degrees. This will bake for an hour before I check the temperature. Now this roast is just under about four pounds and the approximate time to cook is 20 to 25 minutes per pound. But really it's hard to judge a roast just by going by time because there's other things such as how much, how many bones there are in it, um, the fat, how thick it is, other things that can change the time. I'm going to cook this for one hour and then I will take the lid off. At this time, I'll check the temperature. It's not quite where I want it and so I will cook it a little bit more. At this point, we don't have an exact time to cook it for. So after that hour is up, we just continue to check it depending on how close it is to the temperature we want it. The technique here is to cook it about 10 degrees under where you actually want it. I have a list of the temperatures for if you want it rare, medium rare, well done, all of that on the blog as well. At this point, shut the oven temperature off if you have gotten it to that temperature of about 10 degrees lower than what you're looking for. And then you'll just let it sit for about 15 minutes so the temperature will slowly be coming down in the oven while your roast is still in there cooking. Um, you could even open the oven a crack in a few minutes. This helps to seal in the moisture as the temperatures outside of the oven and inside of the oven are so different. Um, just taking the roast out can actually cause such a shift that it will just lose all that moisture. And so we're gonna seal the moisture in to keep it nice and tender. I also talk about this technique um, in a previous vid video I did on making sourdough without a Dutch oven. And in that one, we left our bread in the oven for a few minutes as well, just to make sure that we are sealing it in and having a good crust on the outside of the bread. I've cooked carrots and potatoes on the stove for this, but you are welcome to cook them in the Dutch oven as well. And you can see how to do that at the blog also. So we're gonna set this table as the people are about to arrive. The kids were so excited to help today because they knew they'd have some special people over. My oldest even kept me out of the dining room 
until he could bring in the silverware and set the table, um, putting the dishes around and stuff because he wanted to surprise me. We made our favorite buttermilk biscuit recipe with the einkorn flour and we had a salad that my youngest were so excited to eat with cucumber because they love cucumber. All right, everything is set and ready to eat. This roast looks delicious. And I am so glad that I figured out that you can make a frozen roast in the oven. I hope you guys take this cooking technique and use it yourself. You don't need special equipment all the time. I'm Krista from Hilltop in the Valley, and I'll talk to you again soon.